truck just showed up with our first shipment of 2021 model year Harley Davidson motorcycles. So we're gonna give you guys a shot of the first 21s that have come off the truck here. Got the crew all here, everyone's excited. Anticipation's high, so we're gonna check it out. So as many of you guys already know, Harley Davidson typically launches their new model year at the end of August, but this year things are a little bit different with the pandemic and everything. So Harley Davidson opted to postpone the model launch until January, January 19th specifically. And many of you have probably already seen advertisements for Harley Davidson's virtual global launch. And that also is a little bit different as well. Usually the dealers all get together at some convention center somewhere and all the dealers get to check out all the new stuff and learn about the new bikes so they can be knowledgeable on the new products products and things like that. But this year they're not doing that, once again due to the pandemic primarily. And instead what they're doing is they're announcing all the models online virtually to both the world and the dealers at the same time. So if you haven't already registered, I'm gonna put a link in the description of the video for Harley Davidson's virtual global event on January 19th. It starts at 10 o'clock central time. So if you register, I'm sure you'll be notified via email exactly how to tune in and watch that. I'm assuming it's gonna be on YouTube or on their website or something like that. But I'm looking forward to it because we get to hear from the engineers and the style team and a lot of the product development guys, which in my world, they're kind of my rock stars. So I love hearing from those guys and getting all the real technical aspects of the bikes. So let's jump into some of these bikes that have been delivered to dealerships. I'll go over all the bikes that we know of at this point. We didn't get all of the available models at this point, although we did get a nice handful of them. But I'll be talking about all the bikes that have been delivered to dealers thus far. I've got friends at a bunch of the neighboring dealerships that have sent me pictures of bikes that we didn't necessarily get but at least I have the information surrounding those models. And I also wanna go over some of the things that we haven't seen yet. Some of the models that haven't shown up yet, CVOs. There's a lot of bikes that I'm sure Harley Davidson isn't gonna pull out of their lineup this year that haven't shown up to dealerships yet. So I wanna go over some things that I'm anticipating the most about the virtual launch and maybe a few things to watch for. So the other thing that's kind of interesting is these 21 model year bikes are showing up to dealers kind of quietly. Like Harley Davidson hasn't posted anything on their website about the 21 model year bikes. It's still all 2020 stuff up on their website. They're not making any social media posts about the 21s being available at dealerships yet. And so these bikes are just kind of showing up to dealers and dealers are advertising them via their social media and website and things like that. And you can buy them, they're for sale. We have pricing and everything, which I'll get into a little bit of the pricing here very soon. But you know, after I kind of thought about it a little bit, it does kind of make sense. You know, Harley Davidson is putting in a lot of effort and everything for the 19th, their big virtual launch. And then they also have another virtual launch for the Pan America on February 22nd. And I'm assuming that would be similar Similar, like a virtual launch type of a thing online. So I get it if they're not putting on their celebration hats and blowing the horns for these initial models that are going out to dealerships as well. But it's interesting, we're gonna have a little over two weeks of a time period here where 21 model year bikes will be available at dealerships with really no information from the motor company going public on anything at this point. So that's another reason why I'm making this video is just to kind of show everybody what is available right now at your local dealerships and what bikes are available right now. There's about 17 different models that are available right now at dealerships. How many more that will be added to that after the 19th I don't know but if one of these 17 models is one you've been waiting for and waiting for the 21 model year then there's really no reason to wait till the 19th to pick it up because these bikes are available now and hitting showroom floors now So let's check out what's behind door number one. So here we have a 2021 model year a lowrider s in the vivid black one of two colors that are available this year. So this is a bike that I didn't anticipate that there would be very many changes this year just because it was a brand new model in the 2021 model year lineup. And when I say brand new model, it was reintroduced to the lineup on the brand new soft tail chassis that was introduced in the 18 model year. The Lowrider S was first introduced in the 16 model year and made a big splash in the Harley world on the 16 and 17 model year when it was on the Dyna chassis. It was kind of like the Dyna Bros perfect factory bike. And so it was kind of a big upset when the bike was discontinued in the 2018 model year but since Harley Davidson has reintroduced it to the lineup in the 2020 model year and again for this model year I anticipate it being uh, again and continuing to being one of the most popular Harley Davidson's out there it was our number one best-selling soft tail maybe our number one best-selling motorcycle for the 2020 model year it just really hits home on a lot of different levels with the type of rider that goes for this type of bike so a lot of people have questions about displacement the displacement is still a 114 
It's got the Milwaukee 8, of course, and all those features you love about the Lowrider S, like the inverted front end, dual disc brakes, the signature bronze wheels, the little mini fairing on there that houses the front headlamp, but everything from the finishes on the engine, to the seat, to the fenders, to the lighting, pretty much everything is identical to what we saw in the 2020 model year, which again, I didn't think they were gonna change it. Why change something that isn't broken and something that you just redesigned last year? So the new color that replaced the Barracuda Silver this year is called Midnight Crimson. And I'm a fan, I think it was a good substitute. Not that the silver was a bad color, but the Midnight Crimson just looks like a really rich premium color and I really like it a lot. Black is always awesome. You gotta have black available, especially in a bike like the Lowrider S. But for the guy that wants to be a little bit different and wants to separate himself from a herd of black bikes, the Midnight Crimson is a really nice option this year. So the Lowrider S pricing did go up a little bit more. The MSRP on the Lowrider S is $18,199. That's up $200 from last year when it was $17,999. So let's check out what we have behind door number two. So the second bike we got here is the Road Glide Limited. So the Road Glide Limited is the full dresser Road Glide with the tour pack and the comfy seat and the heated grips and all that good stuff. Prior to the 2020 model year, this was known as the Road Glide Ultra. And last year in the 2020 model year, they renamed it the Road Glide Limited and applied all those fancy features that the Ultra Limited had. And so the Road Glide was no longer left out. So this is a brand new color. This is called the Gauntlet gray metallic of all the new colors I've seen so far this is by far my favorite this is just a really cool shade of gray that I personally really like now this bike you can get in both the chrome or the black finishes this bike obviously has the black finishes you pay a $1,900 upcharge for the black finishes on this bike RDRS is still an option on here for $995 and those are your two options your chrome or black finish or you're with or without RDRS. So this bike, again, as all these bikes are, relatively unchanged from the previous model year, which is why it's showing up at our dealership right now. But this new color looks awesome. And you've got the Slicer two wheels, which is a new wheel last year. And I just think it looks really good on this bike with this color. One thing that we did notice immediately that it's getting a lot of attention and kind of a lot of buzz on the internet at this point is it appears that the touring bikes have all gone to a cable clutch as opposed to a hydraulic clutch. Those of you who have been in the Harley Davidson world for a long time now probably remember back in the 2014 model year launch when they launched the Rushmore project, they converted all their touring bikes to a hydraulic clutch. Now for whatever reason, they've gone to the cable clutch and I'm gonna dig into it more and let you guys know in future videos what I find out about the cable clutch, but all the scuttlebutt on the internet right now is, you know, is it because they're cutting costs? Is Are they reducing mechanical complexity? Are they making the manufacturing process easier? There's just a lot of speculation out there right now and I'm getting a lot of questions about that in my DMs right now and the honest answer is at this point in time I don't know why me personally I like a hydraulic clutch you've got kind of that predictable actuation and friction zone every time you don't have to worry about that clutch cable stretching but honestly after the clutch cable stretches a little bit after its first service or so there's not a whole lot of difference and it's not really like a huge game changer for me but I don't know I'm curious to see if Harley Davidson addresses it on January 19th and see what they have to say about that for a vivid black road glass Limited, you've got an MSRP of $28,499. The gauntlet gray one you see here is $29,099. For a two-tone, you add $500 to that. And for a custom color, you add another $200 on top of the two-tone color. And then like I mentioned, if you want the RDRS, it's $995. And then if you want the blacked out finishes on all the trim pieces, then you add another $1,900 to the bike. Much like the Lowrider S, the MSRP on the Road Glide Limited has also increased $200 when compared to the 2020 model. It's also worth mentioning that the Ultra Limited has also shipped out as well. It's pretty much the same as the Road Glide Limited and the Ultra Limited that we saw in 2020 with the same options that I mentioned before. You can get it in the chrome trim or the black trim. The black trim is an upcharge. We didn't receive any Ultra Limiteds in our first shipment that you see here, but I will be featuring the Ultra Limited on the channel in the future. So next up, we've got the 2021 Sport Glide, and this is the Gauntlet Gray Metallic, so the same color that I was just showing off the Road Glide Limited in. Again, this color looks beautiful on this bike, and kind of a really nice change they made this year is the saddlebag comes in a color match saddlebag outer shell there, and it's gloss as well. As many of you will remember that the bags in previous years were that dull black or like that denim black 
finish on them. And so having that color matched look on the saddlebag just looks a lot nicer and like a little bit more finished as well. The graphics are new as well. You got kind of this orange outline of the barn shield on there next to the Harley Davidson text with like a race stripe inspired look on the tank. And it looks really, really sharp, especially in this color. I think it looks really good. I love the paint on this bike. You got the 107 cubic inch Milwaukee 8 engine and the external preload adjustment there. Again, no real significant changes on this bike, which is why it's showing up early prior to the virtual launch. But yeah, same fairing on there, same wheels, same seat. I think Harley Davidson could really kill it even more with this model if they would change that fairing, but that's okay. That's just me. Obviously this model holds a special place for the guys here at Laidlaw's Harley Davidson. This was our model of choice when we built our Coast Glide, our 2019 Battle of the Kings World Champion. And so, you know, we love the Sport Glide here at Laidlaw's Harley Davidson and with the color match bags, it even gives it a kind of a nicer finishing touch on the overall aesthetics of the bike. So here's something that you should be aware of. So there's two blacks this year. So there's a vivid black. The vivid black comes with the old style bags that we've seen in years previous that have like that denim black finish on there. It's not a glossy painted finish on there. Now there's also a paint color called vivid black deluxe. The vivid black deluxe comes with the finished gloss black painted bags on there. It's about $150 more. My opinion is it's worth 150 bucks unless you prefer the denim bags to the glossy black painted bags. So that's something I really wish I would have known when I ordered these bikes like four months ago because I think more people are probably going to prefer the Vivid Black Deluxe with the gloss painted bag. Here you can see both the denim bag that we've seen in the past and here you can also see the glossy black Vivid Black Deluxe painted bags. So we'll probably be doing a full review on the Sport Glide in the next week or so. So be looking for that. Probably one of the first bikes that we'll be doing a full model review on the channel. So be looking for that video in the near future. The Vivid Black Sport Glide has an MSRP of $18,799. The Vivid Black Deluxe that has the glossy black bags is $18,949. So again, just $150 more if you want those glossy black bags. And then anything with a color, it's $19,249. So that would be the Gauntlet Gray Metallic. I know they've also got the Stonewashed Pearl, which is like a white color. And I can't remember if there's any other colors out there, but those are the only ones I've seen so far. The MSRP this year, once again, represents a $200 increase over the MSRP last year in the 2020 model year. Behind door number four, we're going to go with a Sportster here. So this is the Iron 1200. And the Iron 1200, of course, is the same because why change it? Sportsters never change. They've been the same forever. So you've got the same air-cooled Evolution engine. This is the 1200cc, of course. And the graphics on this bike are the same as last year. There are a couple new paint colors. I didn't get any footage of them, but I know there's a denim black out there with like these green stripes on it, as opposed to the red, white, and blue on this bike. And I think it looks really cool. I like the denim black with the green a lot. I wish I had one right now that I could show you guys. But once again, as far as I can tell, this bike has not changed. The Iron 1200 was first introduced to the lineup, I want to say like three years ago or something like that. I'm pretty sure it was a mid-model year launch bike. I can't really remember exactly what year it was. But to me, the Sportsters are like the perfect bike for someone who's new to the Harley world to cut their teeth on. The quintessential Harley Davidson feel and sound. The simplistic air-cooled V-twin engineering. Totally bulletproof design. These things can take a hit and keep running put gas in it and go style of riding they've got a million different parts made for them probably more parts made for these bikes than any other motorcycle out there they're just a good all-around bike for someone to pick up to be introduced into the harley davidson world so the iron 1200 did get a 100 dollars price bump from last year so we're now looking at a ten thousand and ninety nine dollar bike last year it was nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine and that takes me to my next bike here. We've got an Iron 883. Same story. Nothing's changed on the bike. However, this bike did see a significant price bump. We're looking at $9,599. So the Iron 883 saw a $600 price bump when you compare it to the 2020 model year Iron. The Iron 883 for the longest time has been $8,999. These two Sportsters have the same options they've had in previous model years. You've got ABS for an upcharge of $795, and you've got security for an upcharge of $395. Although we didn't get any 48s in this shipment, I wish we did. I have seen 48s being delivered to other dealerships, so that is a model that is landing at dealerships now. However, the Roadster is a model that I have yet to see this model year. I think it's probably discontinued. However, maybe we'll be surprised at the global launch on January 19th. 
So next up we've got another staple in the Harley Davidson lineup. We've got the Road King and this is the Road King standard to be specific. So you've got the passing lamps on there and you've got the slicer two wheels and you've got the 107 cubic inch Milwaukee 8 full height of the rear suspension. And of course as I'm describing this I'm comparing it kind of to the Road King special. The Road King special has the 114. It had the Prodigy wheels last year. It has a little bit thicker bar on there. It does not have the passing lamps and it has the lowered shocks and the low contour seat. And speaking of specials, I have yet to see a Street Glide Special, a Road Glide Special, or a Road King Special. So I'm assuming those models are all gonna drop after the global announcement on the 19th. So that's definitely one of the things that's high on my radar with the global launch is what's up with the specials. Again, the Street Glide, the Road Glide, and the Road King Special. And I also wanted to mention, although we didn't get any street glide standards and road glide standards, those bikes have been delivered to dealers at this point. I wish I had footage of them. We did not get either of those models on our initial shipment. We have them coming very soon though. But all I know at this point is that they're pretty much exactly the same as they were in the 2020 model year. You've got the option of RDRS for $995. You have the option to upgrade the infotainment system to the 6.5 GTS for an additional $895. And there's some new color options on there. They come with the 107 cubic inch. I always like to mention displacement because it's always really high on people's radar. Are they bumping the engine size this year? It's a question I get asked a lot. I have not seen any trikes, so the tri-glide and the freewheeler. We will see if they make a return this model year and in what fashion. The electric glide standard has been delivered to some dealers. I didn't get any, but again, that bike looks exactly the same as it did last year. As far as I can tell, it only comes in the vivid black, which is the same thing as it was last year just the Vivid Black Electric Light Standard. Now there are some models that we've received word that they've been discontinued for this model year. The Deluxe, the Breakout, the Lowrider, and the FXDR will not be making a return for the 21 model year. The Slim is a bike that's already been delivered to dealers. We didn't get one, however, so I don't have any footage for this video. The Heritage is also a bike that I've seen pictures of, but again, we didn't get a Heritage. And once again, we're gonna have the Heritage S, which comes with the 114, I'm assuming. And you've also got the, the Heritage Classic, which has the 107 and the chrome finishes. My personal opinion, I don't think there's a need for two different Heritage models in the lineup. I think that's a little bit redundant. I actually don't think we sold a single 107 Heritage last year, but we do have a demand for the 114 Heritage that has the blacked out finishes. The Fat Bob, I've seen a few pictures of it. There's a new color called Deadwood Green Out, and I've seen the Fat Bob in that Deadwood Green. It looks really cool. I'm not sure how well green is going to do on a motorcycle, but it's a pretty rad color. CVOs, of course, have yet to be seen, so that's something that I'm really looking forward to checking out. What models are they going to be coming out with? Are they going to do the trike again? Are they going to do the road glide? I really hope they do the road glide. I already have several customers lining up to get a CVO road glide and I can't even guarantee the bike's even gonna come out. The CVOs are always a really exciting group of bikes to find out every model year. The motor company really does some really cool stuff with those bikes, especially in recent years. So I can't wait to see what the CVOs bring us this year. The other two soft toes that I haven't seen pictures of yet are the Street Bob and the Fat Boy. So we'll see if we get any information on those two models at the global model launch. So really the things that I'm the most excited about learning about on the 19th are the Road Glide, the Street Glide, and the Road King specials. I'm excited to learn about the CVOs this year. And really the number one bike that I'm the most excited about this model year is the Pan America. Some of you guys may have seen my video where I went to an adventure motorcycle riding school. I've recently watched the long way around, the long way down, the long way up, you know, all the long ways. And I've kind of been getting myself pumped about the whole adventure motorcycle world. So make sure you guys register and mark your calendars for February 22nd for the global launch of the Pan America as well. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I really look forward to this model year a lot. I plan on doing a lot more riding videos. I've been getting a lot of feedback from people that want to see more videos of us out on the road, kind of like the Zion video I did this last model year. So hopefully I can do more of that type of content, but definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already make sure you hit that bell notification to let you know when I upload a video because we're going to be coming out with a lot of content covering all the 21 model year Harley Davidson's this year and we're really going to try to step up our production quality as well and of course as always if you guys are looking for a motorcycle in Southern California come visit us here at Laidlaw's Harley Davidson we'd love to earn your business on a new or pre-owned Harley Davidson motorcycle thanks a lot for watching guys take care see you on the next one